Nanzu. Okay, we are back here with more World Cup action. We got Young Teddy versus Genesis 7. I don't know which team Teddy is on, but I will rewatch the first few turns. So we got here some Metagross Mega Action versus um, Lopani Mega on the other side. Switches so Clef on um, turn 1. And he gets the boost, classic. He's gonna oh get his Zen Headbutt flinch here. Good, hammer that arm, really okay. Good, that was a really good play by Teddy there. One second, I'm in turn 2, I'm rewatching. Uh, so oh he goes man. for recover, hammer arm doesn't do much, so he switches out the Metagross, and I assume there's gonna be knockoff tornadoes, assault vest. It's just some bulky offense here. Knocks off the Skarmory's leftovers. This could have been Spadef's Skarm, which is like used in Auras, but he pivots out a heat turn on the heat wave, which is a nice play. And he's gonna get up his rocks or lava plume here. Gets goes for Magma Storm, oops, and he misses, that sucks. Classic Pokemon, you know. He missed uh, Genesis missed the Magma Storm after the um the thing the Metagross also got an attack boost. Toxic's the Rotom on the switch. And there's a free switch into Gastro, and I don't know why he didn't will wisp. I guess he predicted the Clefable. I assume he's gonna pivot into Clefable on turn um yeah, turn nine here. Yeah. And he goes into Clefable. Teddy makes a great play, Volt Switch again. Brings up the Landorus, and this should be Stealth Rock. So rolls up the Band. As Genesis does the same. And you can U turn or Earthquake here. And he just U turns on the Skarmory. Um, gets in the Kelio, so if this is Specs, he can go Clefable, I think. Because he will not go for Hydro Pump. Okay, we are live now. Battle yeah, can join now. If it's Fist Death Gaster, it's free, but if it's Spit Death. He's, it's a bit risky because it's gonna it's do a mo lot. It's most likely death. It's most likely fizz death. These oh, I don't know if it's. Like, I can see it being I don't know if it's um. Like, what does he need? What does he need the special? Oh, we predicted that the gas to run even for specs focus, but see that's why. That was that was a really good play. That so was, a was a good really play. Good I, good I agree with play. going Clef because he was either secret sorting or like he he wasn't going for a water move basically. No. Most of no, the time. No, definitely not. So he can soft build up here. That did 46. Yeah. That's busted. That specs as fuck. Specs is nice and broken. Okay, so he gets in the Metagross. I can enjoy that. Um, we no, already know. The, we already know that he's fist the big boy is back in. We already know that he's fist of Gastron. Oh, nice pursuit. Just shit. pursued at this man for 15%. Oh no, that, that that was that was some important chip though. That makes like, me yeah. think about the important. that reminds me of the um get this money game the other day where he kept pursuing the clef. Yeah, but we already know that this Gazerun is probably Fist Dev from the damage that Metagross did with plus one hammer arm earlier. I think it's Fist Dev. And the Clefable is a bit more... Sp I think the Clefable is also a bit more Fist Dev because the Focus Bus did a good amount. Uh, that Specs Kelly was a problem to just... This Lari, like, like, this Lari could be I Scarf? Thought first, I, th I, thought, I thought at first, like, th that that was, like, a wrap for fucking Genesis 7 because he has a fucking Gastrodon. And Gastrodon literally walls like the whole team, but uh, now the, now that he's shown uh, Specs Keldeo, it's, it's kind of like changed. It's it's not a rap, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, is it the only it reason? Maybe a rap. For Teddy. It may be a rap for Teddy because like he gets a kill almost every. The only reason time. why the Specs Keldeo threat is because of Focus Blast, because the Secret Sword would probably yeah. get walled easily by the Gastro. But yeah, this is life of bloody. So um, he probably doesn't have a choice of use on his team, which is interesting to see. Um, like the kind of specs to let his life up, Lando switched Lando up moves. Anything, right? If anything, maybe Scarf Rocks, but that's about no, it. Lando switched up moves no. already. Yeah, he switched up moves. Oh, oh so. never mind. Then, never mind. Never. Yeah. So he defogs breathing softball. And he's gonna go. Metagross is risky because this might have T Wave or Flamethrower. I think he's gonna go Torn, maybe? Uh, exactly. Throws just yeah. throws the rock the back. Um, I can see him going that for U-turn here because he doesn't want to lose I the mean, leftovers I mean, no, on the clef. No, 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 knocks free here, knocks free, knocks free. I mean, U-turn yeah, is fine to get momentum. Fire off a free knock. See, I would U-turn a trend because the trend is already knocked. But he just oh, hurricane. Oh, oh, right, oh, I didn't right, right, know. Right, right, right. Yeah, then U-turn yeah. was the play. Oh, yeah. I see hurricanes double hurricane oh, miss. Double both. Yeah. And the Magnusorm doesn't miss. So I mean, he's... he missed his Magma Storm before, like, with Flash Fire, yeah, yeah, no. so... That was some justice, I guess. Reverse Hex. It's another one on Rotom. And we already know this was Leftovers trend, so it won't be... Like a, Rotom's kind of like a pain to, to Genesis 7. It won't like, be Bloom Doom, like, 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 or has Bloom He's gonna pain split here, right? 
Yeah, yes, just plain yeah. supposed to get all the health back. If the Heatran had like perhaps solar beam earlier, it would have been cool. If it didn't get knocked off, it could have caught the Rotom if it had that set. I mean, Rotom, Rotom is not Rotom itself is not the problem. The problem is just that Rotom like is annoying with Volt Switch and brings stuff in, and he can't yeah, really kill it because it's well, bulky. Pinspeed is what makes it annoying. Yeah, Pinspeed, otherwise, it, Pinspeed it, it, is the main thing. Yeah. So the Clef might just click Moonblast, Clef predicting a hurry cancel as U turn. I mean, this is this is a free training again, so I don't see. I would U turn if I was Teddy. Yeah, but if if the Clef stays in, he's could go Metagross. If we don't know the last move on the cliff, the third move is gonna be Moonblast, but I don't know the fourth. Uh, yeah, I think he is a little bit weak to Mega Scissor, in my opinion. If the trend goes low or dies, so this could be Flamethrower Clef or HP Fire Ladi. Hmm. That's a good point. Maybe the Gastron has Curse and it beats Scissor 1 on 1. If that beats Scissor 1 on 1, he doesn't need. A fire move on either knocks. the clef or the on either the clef or the Lari if he has the cursed gaster that could be the scissor. But not sure about that. So yeah, he's gonna magma storm I assume. Shoot I mean Rodom is Rodom is already poisoned that little fuck down he gets crit. That's crit. Mm. No, that's huge. That's huge. That's huge. That's the that nice that's storm kills if it hits, yeah. I, I'd go for it. Yeah, I'd you have to it. go for it because yeah, if you yeah. switch, it's gonna paint split. Like, I mean, you don't have to, yeah. but like, you gain a lot if you hit it, and if you switch and you paint splits, the rhythm is still annoying. Yeah, and if you and if you miss and he hits you over that pump, it still dies. So. I mean, yeah, t Teddy. Okay. Oh, what? 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 So. I just guess Rotom I baseball. assume he's either gonna go clef or let this get burned. I would go cleffy. Like, I don't want this burned. But damage, then it just get to 60 is a bit annoying because Metagross can become a threat later. Yeah, I don't think we've stayed in there. Yeah, but I don't like this being burned. Yeah, since burned is 12 not, in this gen. Uh, yeah, like, now, now you can kind of lose the... No, no, Genesis should have gone for the hit there. Genesis 100% should have gone. I um, agree. I think, um, what I would have done is probably go and Clef on the Wisp it. and then double back into Gastron to get some leftovers and double back into Clef because I'm wild. And if it doesn't work out, I get shit talked by the Smog Deuce chat, so that's fun. And <laughs> okay, so. He gets a this burn on the Lottie, so he's gonna roost or. Yeah, okay. He was either roosting or defogging there, basically. He doesn't wanna stay in here, I assume he's gonna Moonblast here, he doesn't wanna give the Lottie a free defog. Mm -hmm. That is jack shit, but he gets the drop. So there has been hacks on both sides. Um, the last few turns a bit more hacks from Genesis' favor. He's probably gonna U-turn into Metagross here. Like if Clef would stay into Metagross, if he switches out, he can go into Kaleo here. He can go into the big. I mean Metagross too, because he has hammer on. I don't know. Arm. He didn't send a big threat. So he's gonna go into Gastrodon here, right? If this has Zen Headbody... Gastron is the Metagross check. I think the last move will either be Ice Punch or Thunder Punch. Definitely. Ice Wait. Punch will be the end. I actually know it should have Hammer Arm. It has Hammer Arm, so it probably doesn't have Earthquake then. Zen, have Zen Meteor Mash, Zen Meteor Mash, Ice Punch, uh, yeah, Hammer Arm. He showed Pursuit Hammer and Mash. Oh, 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 never mind, yeah. That, that's, so he, he's Zen but, or but Ice Punch? It's Zen, it's Zen, Zen, Zen for sure. It's Zen for sure. Uh, really? I was thinking that it could be uh, like a Punch move. If he is predicting the gas run really here, he can pursue it, but I'm not sure. I think he can just attack, that's fine. Now, I think the best move he has to hit the gas run is hammer arm, so he should have pursued it there, oh, but he, he gets, gets a, a crit. crit. That's nasty as fuck. So this probably kills after that crit. Of course, Metagross stays out speeding because the gas run has zero speed, so. The gas run actually's base speed is like 30 or some shit. As he sacks the trend, dodges, and trend might That's be. Some oh my tracks. god! The trend is faster now. <laughs> the trend is faster because of the speed it's draw. Smaller. If it's max speed trend or if it's speedy trend, it is. So, what is he gonna do? Sack the Lari or sack, uh, sack the Rotom? Or, I mean, maybe it's not a sack, it might live a Magma. It's gonna live in Magma. Yeah, Astrodon on the Rotom and get health back. How lit would that be? Hmm. Like legit, that would be Liddy though. 
since yeah i think he just I'm gets pretty free sure the but dev like the way it's been played and everything and like the way his the way his gastron looks to be fist dev and to, like the nc exists in aura so scum is like fist dev it's dev more of the time it also helps with god of war and my computer is about to die so let me plug in that young charger you know so hit the line with the kill you know get some juicy chip and yeah, he's gonna, that wasn't chip, that's he's gonna um I thought he would go into gas run there because I think the water move was kind of obvious. Um because like Then he would have gotten the I think he could, I think Let me explain why the water move was obvious. Cafable? Like the Cafable was at full, so he was Cafable was a free play. Um but yeah, I guess he didn't he didn't have to risk the gas run there. Daddy was obviously a fine play too. But I'm just I just don't see that many opportunities for him for him to heal the Gastrodon. Now he doubles into Gastrodon, but the now switch out was obvious, so that that was weird yeah. because he was not staying in with the Kaldio there. I mean he only loses like uh, a few percent, like six percent, so it's not that much usually. Oh, but he has to have good switches to Malagross. So he has to sack this now. I guess he wants to still keep it so the Kel doesn't spam Scald. And tries to burn his Lali. I mean, yeah, I get that he switched out his Lari but in the Mana Gross, but oh, Pursuit killed without Pursuit switching. That was the 100%. correct play then, I guess. Like, Pursuit was 100% the play. If you predict the Mana Gross, does, does Lopani kill it with Fake Out into High Jump Kick? I'll call it there real quick. I don't think it does. And, I mean, Genesis didn't need this because uh, Kelt can, still can't spam Scald while he has Clefable left. And um, Ladios. Still can't spam. Wait, high jump kick only does 44 to 53. Mega Mana was is busted. What the f okay, that's, that's in P HP invested. Never mind. It does 51 to 60 from lob. So yeah, it's in the, not in range. It's for sh gets a mesh well, boost. To get more boosts. So he's gonna spam hammer arm here because he, with the speed drops. Oh, he's just fishing for more attack boosts. That's so nasty. Okay, I thought I would have hammer on there. That was weird. I guess he was predicting a potential. No, I'm not sure what he predicted there. Yeah, I must agree. I don't know what he was predicting. I think Hammer on was the play, but I mean, I'm ass at this game. So. <laughs> um, Young Silad won his OU circuit round two today, but yeah. Yeah, I'm so good at this game, JK. <laughs> um, he did get a U-turn in uh, into this Metagross. This Metagross is a huge problem after Gastro going down. The Skarmory is now low, so this is just gonna get kills after kills after kills. I think one of the two guys is on Eric's. I, think, I don't know if it's Genesis, but one of the two guys is, I think, on Team Canada, which is Eric's team, because Eric linked the game in our chat. Thankfully, Eric linked the game because I wasn't paying attention to Smoke Tours, I was laddering. Um, one sec, I gotta pause real quick. Okay, so he, um, I just paused real quick f to upload the Blunder game with Mazar. So he did lose his heat turn to hammer arm. Did he go for dodge? I mean, he didn't really I have a switch. He, in. he didn't have a switch in yeah. He had to sack it. And the lot went for surf. Brought this in high jump kick range basically. And it died to a mash. And he got another boost. This Magos is well trained. Uh, I, think it, I think well earlier trained. missed the hammer arm, but other than that, it's pretty well trained. I mean, you just swim with arms. You're bound to miss one. I mean, I don't mean, blame Metagross. He's gonna double outbreak in the Landris? Like, actually flex. And what is he gonna do now? I assume this is Helmet Lander because it should rocks in u turn. Seems like a defensive Lander to me. It doesn't have Lefty, so it has to be the thing, the Helmet thing. So he got up Spike. He can either Spike again or Whirlwind. He did Stone Edge predicting the Whirlwind, but he just ruised it. And yeah, he can Whirlwind here predicting the u turn to get up some nice chip damage. I mean, Torn is a nice play because there's Regenerator, so it doesn't really care. Like, it even gets more health back. Uh, I can see him going for spikes here. As he just wants hard edge And yeah, this time spikes. he's gonna will and I predict, or I assume. Um, spikes only hit two of the members. So he gets the Ladin, I think he wants to defog. But the Skarmory's just gonna spike up again, so... No, he's just gonna kill Ladin. Oh, Ladios, Brave Bird. Yeah. I would've sp maybe spiked first, but it's fine. Oh, he gets a oh, crit that wouldn't have killed at minus two. He got two intimidants on 
Of course, every, everyone is saying easy in the smog to shit. That's how the smogs. Sure. Brave first scum is just black and white. Yeah, I know it's for Hera Cross, but like. I think it's for death, so it doesn't even switch into Hera. Mm -hmm. He d can fully Volt switch after Gastron went down, so that's really gonna be annoying for Genesis. Okay, so the Metagross doubles out, predicting the Skarmory, I guess. Into Rotom. Leftovers cancel out the poison. And he's gonna Volt again, get that Young Momentum. And get Calfable though. So he's either gonna go back to... He can go Kelly on Click Hydro Pump here, right? Does that kill? Uh, it does kill your Hydro Pump kill. Interesting, I don't think so. I'll call... I think it might kill, because Kelly is strong as fuck with his choice packs. But yeah, I have to calc with the death cleft just to like be sure. Um, I know the calm spread is like 96 or 84 in the death that it runs in RS or runs, I mean. Ran in RS is what I meant. It does a 60 to 71. So I guess it's a roll if it's that calm set, but he might be a bit more festive orientated. Uh, I can calc the voltage, which was the 24. Rotom. Just has a mega. Yeah, the voltage hit so much, this seems like a more festive spread. Yeah, your Volt Switch would only do 71 to 70 to 21. So this Clefable has a different spread. We will um, remove the Spidef EVs. Just follows it back now. So Kelly's Hydro Pump will do about... Um, Kelly's Hydro Pump I'd kill. Because this Clef is more fish death. Hydro Pump does 67 to 79. Goodbye. Like, I'm not sure about the spread that I calced. I calced, like, Calm with, like, not only 4 in Spidef. Maybe he was um, bold. Because then it was a guaranteed kill. But I was just yeah, trying I to think like. He's Fidef, like fully. Wait, did you say he's fully spedef? On what? Yeah, I think he's fedef. What on, on, on the cliff? Cl he wasn't. I clocked the volt switch damage. It's yeah, he was just physically defensive, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I thought I thought you said spedef. Yeah, yeah, he was fist def. Oh no, most def not spedef. Ooh, look at that boy Metagross off. So yeah, frustration gonna pick off the Metagross here with the two hit KO. But I'm pretty sure Teddy has this game, and I mean, Lopony can Teddy still Lopony can still win if he like. Lopony's a like big if ass he threat. like either ice punch crits the Lando or like gets some cheer up on the Lando. The problem is if he switches out the Lopony versus the Lando, and the Lando goes for U-turn, he's in the Volt turn cycle. Um, he can't really do much about it. He only has two months left. Like. He ice punched yeah, in case he, he was playing. insane and went Lando. Like, I think you have to freeze or crit the Lando. <laughs> I think he is gonna go Skarm here, predicting just an EQ or some shit. Again, yeah. go back to Lopany to drive. But Daddy has so many sacks, it's not even real. So, you can hurry again here because frustration doesn't kill this. But you might also U turn on the Skarm. A heat wave. But he just yeah, decides to miss. I mean, he can U turn now. Scum can spike. This isn't well trained at all. Um, I think this he can spike here, yeah, but the thing is, the Rotom gets a free switch in. Like, Scum can't do anything to Rotom. Dude, yeah, Teddy's team was just, like, really, really annoying. It was, like, so he's gonna Volt switch here, slash Willow Wisp. Like, if the Scum is super spread sure. it might eat up a Volt switch, so he might be tempted to Willow Wisp this. Ah, I think Wisp is the better play. I think Pain Split is an okay play yeah. too. Wisp is nice. Yeah, it is. I think Spadef then. If so now, yeah, yeah, it's Spadef from just how it has been played and how it took 41 from plus 1 Meteor Mesh earlier. So you can um, Pain Split, split into Volt Switch. Oh, you can Volt, yup. Yeah. So now he just how gets that. Uh, kill. Kill. What? Yeah, oh, it's, it's like Max, Max Spadef. Max Spadef lives that. Interesting. I it's thought like Volsage would now be now 60 just go, or something. Now he just goes killed here. Yeah, killed free. He still now gets he a kill now. Now he's secret sword. 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 Oh, yeah. right. It's the death, so secret sword killed. Wow, Padlock with the knowledge. <laughs> Dog. Dog, please. A bitch, please. What do you mean? Padlock is so smart. How I do you have be, to like, troll your horse? So he switches out. But, I, but, I, but, but in but in the Discord chat, 
You would ban me if I if I troll, so <laughs> X button. It was just a baby troll, so I didn't ban you. Or not ban, but demote me to shit. Only for two minutes. <laughs> for two minutes. This this probably can live a high jump kick in minus one. Pivots back into Landers. I mean, this is not even yeah. necessary, but I get that he wants multiple intimidates off so he oh, can. Oh, like, no, it is. It is necessary for Torn. It is. I mean, it makes sense because he wants to avoid hex. Because even if this gets crit now, he has to like basically crit multiple times. Because Rodon lives a hit, yeah, so back, he has to crit Rodon. Back to Lando. He wants. To no, he doesn't have to now. Oh um, yeah. Yeah. He, now, 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 this game, now this game's up. I mean, Wisp is fine, but he could have also vaulted oh there, but it God. didn't matter. Help help the, the tank. Wait, it actually just snagged that up. Teddy should just go for the... 14. 14. That okay. 14. That did 14. Nice chip damage. That did 14. I think that was Teddy's first game. Yeah, that was a flex game. I really like the game. But Oros is, um, has not been that boring lately. Kind of like Oros at the moment. Watching those World Cup yeah. games at least. They, they don't really really stall that often in Oros. Sun and Moon is boring as fuck. Everyone's just bringing Stall and Rain and Aurora Veil and that kind of bullshit. So I haven't seen Aurora Veil in World Cup. That would be fire, actually. I didn't mean Aurora Veil. Yeah, I think Genesis on Canada. Did Eric say anything in the chat? That Genesis is on Steam. I'll pause it real quick and ask. Okay, so I looked it up real quick and Genesis on Team Canada, like I was expecting, and Teddy's on Team UK. So yeah, just an outro. Tell you guys the teams and thank you for watching and see you with more World Cup coverage. Goodbye.